What is happening guys, Martin Martin is back again, a quick video for you. So I'm having a few chats with a few different people, just in respect of the UK right about now, where things are at. So if you live in the US and you're looking at this, maybe it won't mean anything to you, but if you're living in the UK, you let me know your thoughts down below. So I think I did a video, video on this previously when I was in uh, Spain, and asked a question about anyone who went away from the UK and then decided to stay uh, where they were and didn't come back. So... As it stands right about now, so in the UK, we've just had a, a, an election take place and um, Labour have come into uh, government. Labour parties come into government. Usually they're slightly more centralist left or left wing compared to the Conservatives that were in before. Um, now, I have no real sort of political perspective in the sense of saying this is going to be better or worse. But I do think personally... I think that ultimately, for those that, again, know what it's been like to live with the way life has been in the UK right about now, the Conservatives have been in for the last 14 years and now they're out and we have Labour in right about now. So in, at the end of the day, there's going to be some type of change. It was what we'd expect. But nonetheless, from my perspective, there was no way, realistically, the Conservatives could have stayed in. However, my issue right about now, the question is for you guys in respect of the UK, what are your thoughts? I think at some point I probably will end up leaving the UK. I can't see at this point anymore what would be the actual benefit to stay. When we think about it from so many different angles, seems to be obviously one of the key things being that of Brexit that has literally made it so the UK is pretty much crippled at this point in time. Until the UK joins a single market, from my perspective, there's no way this place can move forward at all. Um, if you think of it from the perspective of cost of living just alone, the cost of your food, the cost of your energy bills, the cost of your um you know your travel and so forth fuel energy all these things that we need to try and function it's really not looking good apparently the uk at this point in time now has more food banks than mcdonald's so i don't know what that says or actually i do know what it says it says this country is really struggling the country's on its knees and realistically for what brexit was or what it's supposed to have been and um, for those that chose to vote for brexit clearly that's not what's what they've got realistically you can't be so close to Europe, in my opinion, rely on trade from Europe and at the same time say we're not going to be part of it and now we find ourselves here. Everything that comes in is higher, there's higher tax on what's coming in and equally for people who want to import things, it's so difficult for businesses to function because they can't get the materials in. So the premiums on top of the cost to get things in drives everything up and then you now, the guy in your pocket, you're now paying even more for what we would have got regarded as basic items. Now, only recently I was in um, I was in Nice in France and I was in Napoli as well in Italy. And I mean, just for basic thing when it comes to food, it didn't cost as much that I paid compared to the UK. The cost of things, again, from what I was paying and what I got, honestly, I mean, the quality of the food was so much fresher. Um, there was so much variety and so much choice compared to the UK, where it's borderline like, you know, you, you're struggling to get eggs pretty much in the UK right about now. The cost of, um, you know, in respect of when we're working here in the UK as well, you're paying more in tax, constantly paying more in tax. And it seems to be a vicious cycle. I think people don't quite understand this, this sort of dilemma that you can be in. If the cost of everything costs you more, you go to Asda, you go to Aldi, you go to Lidl, wherever you go, you do your shop. Your shopping then, you have to pay more for the shopping because it means everything's going up. So now the cost of what it would have been, let's say you bought milk, eggs, bread, you know, basic things, um, you know, tea, coffee, whatever it is. We're not talking about luxury stuff right about now. But you went and decided to buy some basic items. And the cost of that now is more. So in sort of like as a consequence of that, most people can't necessarily just stay there. If you've got family to feed, there's no way you could have stayed there. Most people need to find some way of, in, in, you know, generating more income to increase the income coming to the household. You pay, you increase your income now to try and afford the living costs. As a consequence, you end up paying more tax. It can actually be worse off than you were before. So from the perspective I'm looking at right about now, it's like there's no incentive to work in the UK. That's kind of what it feels like. I'm not someone who claims benefits or work for a living or anything else like that. But if you see, or not say see people, but if you take the perspective of saying, because I'm paying so much in tax, if I'm trying to get to a 20% tax band or even a 40% tax band, I'm paying more, higher rate taxpayer, I'm going to pay more. What's the point in working? So you artificially then try to keep your wages down to the point of staying within the 20% tax band, which is the, the, the entry level uh, for tax. But that being said, though, you have less money in your pocket. So what's the actual incentive here? 
If you're a business, the business is struggling to operate because, again, number one, they can't get the staff, it seems. A lot of the staff have left because it was so difficult for them to have visas, uh, settled status, all these different things going on with the changes because of obviously no longer being in the EU. That's reduced a lot, a lot, a lot of staff numbers. So there's a lot of people who don't want to do those type of jobs, number one. But number two, the people that were doing them have all decided to stay in their own countries. And again, on top of that, let's just talk about the weather for a second. Let's talk about the weather for a second. It seems in this country, literally, I don't know what it is, especially if you're based where I am. But ultimately, it's like literally it can be raining, it can be hail, it can be sleet, it can be snow. And then it's sunny for five minutes and you think it's sunny and you go outside and literally in the same day, it starts to rain again. I mean, even on the news today, speaking today, literally, we're in the middle of July now, or even borderline going into July. July's just started, and even a woman on the news said it's going to start to feel like autumn. Don't know what's going on. So, the only problem is, the real question I have right about now is, when you do decide to leave, if you do decide to leave, where do you go and what do you do? And that's what I want to put out to you guys as well. Leave your comments down below and let me know. What have you done if you decide and say, you know what, I'm going to up sticks, I'm going to leave, I'm going to go out of the UK and do something else. Where have you gone? I mean, France is maybe one thing. France, Cyprus, Spain, uh, Portugal, uh, Croatia, you know, all these different things that people have said to me. Um, Italy as well. Where have you gone and decided this is going to be? Now, I know it's a lot more difficult after Brexit. It seems to be like technically Brexit's made it so that certain people in certain circumstances are locked into the country as before we could have moved around. But at the same time, you know, ultimately you can only do so much at a time but at the end of the day you only live once as well you have to make a decision so what have you guys done what do you think about the uk and the economy right about now what do you think about obviously labor coming in what are your thoughts on that so yes i can talk about fashion i can talk about different things talk about fragrances and all this stuff like that but at the end of the day you need to be right in yourself and where you're living and to be happy and what's going on and it feels to me like now the uk is just totally just gone in respect of um things in that regard if you have children and again even i hear that with children if you're going to private school and they're gonna to have to pay now even more increased taxes going to private school is obviously a privilege but a lot of people who send their children to private school i know for a fact aren't necessarily um you know necessarily in the higher uh one percent as such you know they're also struggling to pay their bills as well and they're trying to find their way so it's very difficult here right now there's no time for any luxury realistically there's no time to go crazy if you have stuff Try and focus on long term, not just the short term, quick fashion stuff, because ultimately, you know, you're just giving money away. And especially in these times, we'll need it more. So these are just my thoughts, guys. Again, it's a bit of a ramble video, but you leave, you leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.